Hey everyone, John Henry here from School of Trade, and today we're going to be taking a look at a wave pattern short here on the Russell. Now, uh, the way that this wave pattern is looking here, uh, I got in short, uh, well, I'm looking to get in short at least at 11.53.7. Uh, now, I'm filled three contracts short. I still need to get that last contract filled here. Um, so just essentially what we're looking for here is it's a combination of a couple different things. Uh, there we go. I got that final one filled. Let's get the targets put in there. Target down here. There we go. Now, the reason that I'm liking the way that this trade looks is it's setting up just perfectly. Uh, you know, we're coming into the previous low of day here, this big, thick yellow line, and they, the buyers attempted to hold us above it and move us up, but they immediately failed right back down again. Now, that failure came, we blew through the wave area here, uh, which would have looked a little bit better, but now we came straight into a last chance wave uh, that not only lines up with the last chance crosshair, this orange box here, but also has complete and perfect perfect symmetry in it as well that we're testing. Uh, so everything is lining up exactly the way that we wanted to see it line up. Uh, just need to see a little bit of continuation. Now, it is going to have a hard time, and this is considered more of a higher risk wave, just because, again, we still have that previous low a day there at 53.3. Now, that previous low of day, if we can break through it, we should be looking good to the downside uh, for our first target and our second target. Now, again, we're short at 53.7, short four contracts. Uh, it took a little bit of time to fill those three, but uh, it, it initially skipped over our, our stop to get in, uh, and then it only filled half of them and it just kind of had to wait. But now that we're in full, uh, looking short from 53.7, back down to our first target here, 51.6, and then the final target at 50.1. Now, again, because of all these areas of support and resistance around us that we have to deal with, I am going to be trailing my stop down with it, and I'm not going to be looking for a bigger target. The day overall really is, is yeah, it's, I mean, it's in a downtrend, uh, but if you look up here, the big trend is still to the upside, so it's still going to be considered higher risk. Uh, so still looking to the downside in the short term here. Uh, actually came one tick away from our stop there. Uh, that's why we use those swings. So 54.7 is our stop there, uh, and still looking short, 53.8. First target, 51.6. That will give us uh, 21 ticks on the first target, and then looking to the second target down here, at 50.1 will give us another 36. So the first target alone, we're going to be taking three off. So that gives us 63 ticks initially on that first target and trailing it down uh, for that final target here at 36 ticks. So we'll be back in a little bit. I'll assume this is going to take a little bit of time yet to work out. Um, we did come one tick away from our stop, and this may just end up being a stop out. Uh, but our stop is locked in firmly in place, 54.7. And uh, we'll be back in a little bit and see how the trade turns out. All right, coming in. Oh, there we go. We got, I was going to say coming into our first target here, uh, immediately just shot straight through it here. Uh, so moving my stop to break even, 53.7. We've locked in 21 ticks so far. Uh, let me clear up some of this clutter now that we're continuing a little bit here. Uh, now we're just looking for our final target down here at 50.1. So we locked in, uh, I believe it was 63 ticks so far in those first three contracts, and we're sitting in a perfect position right now. Uh, now just looking for that final 36. As we fall lower here, I am going to be trailing my stop. Uh, so any area Area that we can find that we can potentially lock in a little bit more profit just because of all these other areas of support and resistance I'm definitely going to be utilizing and I'm actually going to move my stop down now 52.6 uh, and, and as we trail through here so the nice thing is now at least we're locked into 11 ticks extra uh, on in terms of profitability here uh, so just waiting for a little bit more continuation from the sellers see if we can get that final target filled at 50.1 uh, and we'll be back in a little bit all right, we made a new low down here to an eight low. It came uh, three ticks away from our target, and now we're starting to reverse. Now, I've got my stop locked in here at 52.4 just for the, the sheer reason that this could be a fake break low, uh, setting up a possibility of a, another opportunity to hop in short again a little bit later. Uh, let's see where that would be here. So you'd be looking short... Uh, right around 11.53.5 or so, right back to where our entry is. And because of that, that little fake break that we're seeing there, I don't want to risk giving all of this back. Uh, so my stop, if we do get stopped out here, we'll be looking at making 13, uh, not as good as 36, unfortunately, but uh, haven't been stopped out yet. So if we do get that 13, uh, we've already made 63, so we'll be sitting on 76 total ticks uh, if we get that hit, which is still more than A-OK -okay with me. Uh, I would like that 36 if we can fall lower from here, but our protective stop is there for a reason. Uh, so our stop is sitting here at 52.4. I just wanted to do a quick update so everyone kind of saw what was going on here. Uh, but it does look like the buyers mean 
yeah, meant quite a bit of business down at those lows, and they just stopped us out. Big burst from the buyers. You can see how fast that moved uh, and shot straight back up. So there is another possible entry to hop in short. Again, uh, measuring this up, you'd be looking short right around you know 53.5, 53.4 or so uh, in that area to hop back to the short side. But this is going to be our trade. Uh, worked out relatively nicely. More of an inside-out last chance sort of pattern here uh, to the downside. Locked in 76 total ticks on the trade, 760 bucks. So that's going to be the trade for today. If you have any questions about it, feel free to send an email to School of Trade. Don't forget to check out our trial at schooloftrade.com. And as always, we'll catch you next time.